Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. Hacking a computer. Here we go. Diablet's computer. Hmm. Exciting times here. Clearance, that's what I need, because, you know, getting into that thing would have been so hard without it. Access granted. Thank God, a nuke virus. All right. From Paige Agostino to Donald Ablett. Are you a scientist? This is not a weekend project using a grade school chemistry set, Donald. We are working on a multi-billion dollar project for Christ's sakes. Uh, I'm not really sure that you use that correctly. Christ, if he has multiple sakes, and that's what this is for? Which one of Christ's sakes are we talking about at the moment? Uh, your lack of discipline and focus is totally unprofessional and could put our work in jeopardy. I want you to know that this is my first and last official written warning. If, under any circumstances, you ever fail to obey regulations, protocols, procedures, heck, if you even forget to punch in getting inside the lab, I'll have you thrown out, literally. I'm sorry to have to be so harsh. I don't think she is. I think she loves being so harsh. You can tell. She's enjoying typing this. But your lack of scientific rigor has just cost us an entire week of tests. We can't simply assume that everything is alright and your misstep didn't have any effect whatsoever on the results. We have to start again. Please, for your own sake, be more careful. Paige Agostino. So, poor Donald Ablett here just got chewed out by his boss for apparently doing something wrong or whatever. He typed back w slash e and that was like his only response that's <laughs> all right what, what am i doing there's guards everywhere and i'm just roaming around like i don't care here's a here's a here's an office i can hack into and so i will i'm nuking it i don't care that's how i roll going spamtastic Fortifying a couple things and just going out of here like crazy. Making a run for the border. Access granted. Too late! Alright, thanks. Someone else's office here. Hey, an energy bar. So I'll eat one, pick that one up. Uh, Alright, well, let's see what's up with, what's up with this computer. From Tariq Mustafa to Omega All. Concerning chairs. We are aware of the shortage of lab supplies, in particular chairs and stools. We have a new shipment coming in soon, and we'll keep you all updated. In the meantime, please refrain from using expensive lab equipment as a makeshift sip sitting apparatus. If you must insist on using a non-sanctioned sitting apparatus. Wow. Uh, non-sanctioned sitting apparatus. That's, that's excellent. Please consider the tensile strength of materials present in the object in question in comparison to your own mass volumetric density. This is something I always keep in mind anytime I'm going to sit on something. I stop and I think, hmm, what is the tensile strength of that non-sanctioned sitting apparatus? Because my own mass volumetric density may be a little bit too much for that particular... <laughs> In other words, stop breaking shit with your fat asses. XOXO. The management. The emails are getting pretty funny in here. I like this. I like like the extreme over technical jargonness of this sentence. And then immediately goes to stop breaking shit with your fat asses. Alright, Tariq Mustafa, you're cool. You're my homie. Alright. So we read this. And here we go, Omega Admin to Omega All. Your analysis and radiation screening reminder. A reminder to all Omega Ranch personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Omega Ranch research facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. Omega Ranch Administration. Do 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 do. All right, so there you go. Safety first, apparently. 
Hello, Pocket Secretary. Passcodes from Stephen Higgins to Donald Ablett. Dr. Ablett, I have been charged with setting up new computer codes for everyone. You will be required to use the following codes by next business day. Log in Diablet, uh, password monastic. I will be for available if you have questions. This is the guy whose email we just read where he was getting chewed out by uh, Paige Agostino um, for not doing some stuff he was supposed to. So I wonder if the mount monastic is simply a reference to the fact that his name, Ablet, sounds a lot like Abbott, or if he's really like some sort of like spiritual um, sort of person and that's what he's making reference to. And I wonder what, if anything, that has to do with his disobeying regulations and protocols. But the, the story probably doesn't get that involved with these minor characters. Eat an energy bar, take an energy bar, call it a day. Credit chip. Well, yes, I will steal some money from these hardworking scientists. Because I only have 73,000 credits and nothing to really use them on. So of course, I need more. All right, emails from Donald Ablett to William Ted. TR, are you a scientist? <laughs> so he did just totally blow off that email. I was like, he's just going to respond W slash E, you know, whatever. And this is, <laughs> he forwards it to his friend and writes, LOL, man, what a bitch, check this out. <laughs> So he was pretty concerned about this serious email. That's funny. All right. So maybe monastic is just a reference to his name, though, because that didn't seem like a, a particularly, uh, you know, devout and contemplative person's response. But that's uh, that's funny, though. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay. Hells yes. He writes back to her, TLDR. Could you please chew me out, you know, with less words? <laughs> Alright. So, we've explored some offices. I'm amused. I'm, I'm about to run into guards probably in a moment and get myself seen because I'm not paying good attention to what's going on. So that'll be great. Here's a guy. What's he doing? What is this guy even doing? Well, I have energy to burn due to having eaten extra bars, so screw it. What's up, man? Take a nap. I better grab this guy. Bring him over here. Spec Ops, huh? Well, apparently not spec enough. There's a vent. Yay, I like vents. Stun gun darts and a stun gun. I don't even think I can take those. I have, I'm have. i already so full. Hey, a new news thing, huh? Sweet. I'm a little concerned about... I'm just going to shut that. Okay. And... I'm a little annoyed about reading this newspaper right here by that loud-ass radio, and pretty soon Lazarus is going to be coming on, you know, spouting off really loudly, and I'm going to be trying to talk over him. So, let's just look around for a second first. Woo, Pro Energy Pack, huh? Uh, I have those on my bar, so I'll eat one and take one. Giving me all kinds of energy. So here's a break room, right? That's what we have chairs, coffee, microwave, foodstuffs, stuff to read here, a stun gun, because you never know when you're in the break room and you just need to tase someone.
Oh, interesting stuff from Lazarus there. I find it slightly off-putting the way he always keeps saying followers. That's sort of annoying. But other than that, he's, he's an amusing to listen to and probably write about most of his stuff. All right, newspaper, go. Uh, Isolate, Versalife, Spin, Travel. Here's Hugh Darrow. Key world players to visit Panchea. Panchea, Arctic Gear Engineering. Billionaire Hugh Darrow is inviting the world to Panchea, his state-of-the-art installation in the high Arctic. Darrow will be bringing key delegates from the United Nations, important players in the augmentation debate, and high-ranking government officials from around the world for a three-day summit. Topping the agenda will be the augmentation issues. Insiders believe that Darrow and Lim, a major sponsor of the Panchea project, are working together to reach an agreement with the UN and other international bodies concerning the regulation of human enhancement technology. Employing the highest percentage of augmented people in the world, Panchea is a fitting stage to showcase and debate the possibilities that human enhancement represents. So that's pretty interesting. They're having this, like, summit at Panchea and all the people involved in this are going there. So I wonder if we'll get to go there. That'll be interesting. Um, explosions shut down port on Hengshaw Island. Shipping on the Yangtze River continues to be disrupted days after a violent explosion shut down the port of Hanming on Hengsha Island. This small dockyard, leased by Bell Tower Associates, sustained heavy damages. Chinese authorities believe Australian terrorists may be behind the bombing. Uh, actually, no, that was me. I set off that bomb. <laughs> nice to read about myself in the news. Okay. So let's check out this vent. So we have that guy over there. Look at that body there. We have that guy over there. We have a photocopier. Ooh, making a bunch of noise with that. That's awesome. Oh, okay, so that guy's actually on the other side of a wall. Well, hold on. Let's just... Let us just... Well, I guess I can look, look around in here. It seems pretty safe. Since that door is shut. So I wonder whose computer this is. From Raj Majibadan. Majibid that was a little tough to pronounce. Raj Majabadan to JC Ferreris. Test results, Subject 521. Hey there, just finished running the tests you asked for on that Asian girl. Subject 521? Sorry to say it looks like an epic fail. I applied the stimulus pattern exactly as prescribed and even cross-checked it with the Eberhard module. But the BMI you implanted isn't picking up any activity in the cortical neurons. I think you might need to go back to the drawing board on this one and the urinalysis thing. All right, so more science being done. Got science to do. All right, I'm gonna go back through here. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna look out here. I'm gonna quick save. I'm actually out of time for this video, so what I'm gonna do, oh, hello is hopefully not get spotted randomly. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.